Hey everyone, today in this quick roadmap we're going to talk about Jenkins, which is an open source automation server that is widely used in software development. Jenkins helps automate various tasks related to the software development lifecycle, specifically focusing on building, testing, and deploying applications. This roadmap is designed for a flexible learning pace that can be covered in 10 days. You can follow us on Twitter, Telegram and YouTube for such quick content. Links available in description. Now let's start. First week is about building foundation around Jenkins foundation and creating workflow. On day one, you can start by understanding what Jenkins is, its role in automation, and how it works. Then install Jenkins and navigate its web interface by following Jenkins official documents. On the second day, you should focus on creating your first Jenkins job. You'll learn about freestyle jobs, which are the basic types of jobs in Jenkins. You need to explore how to configure build parameters and triggers to automate your builds based on specific conditions or schedules. On day three, you need to learn how to use shell or batch commands within Jenkins to automate tasks. Then focus on artifact management, understanding how to store and handle the outputs of your builds. Pipelines are a powerful feature in Jenkins for automating your CI slash CD processes. On day four, you can learn about Jenkins pipelines using the declarative syntax. Then learn how to write basic pipeline scripts and understand the structure of a Jenkins pipeline. Now it's time to deep dive into pipelines by exploring pipeline stages and steps. You will learn how to define different stages of your build process and the specific steps within each stage. This will give you a strong foundation for creating more complex pipelines. Now in second week, we will learn about advanced pipelines, integrations and administration. Day 6 is about moving into more advanced pipeline scripting using Groovy. You need learn the basics of Groovy scripting and how to incorporate conditional logic into your Jenkins pipelines to create dynamic and flexible build processes. Integration with version control systems like Git is crucial for automated builds. On day 7, you can learn how to integrate Jenkins with Git repositories, set up SCM polling to automatically trigger builds based on code changes, and use webhooks for real-time integration. Jenkins plugins are a way to extend the core functionalities of Jenkins. Now, you will explore how to find, install, and configure essential plugins that can help you enhance your Jenkins setup. Where you need to cover plugins for notifications, reporting, and more. Security is a critical aspect of any CI slash CD pipeline. On day 9, you will focus on managing users, setting up security configurations, and handling credentials securely in Jenkins. You'll learn best practices for keeping your Jenkins environment secure. On the final day, you can learn about how to scale your Jenkins setup by using agents and nodes. And focus on distributed builds setting up additional agents, and practical examples of scaling Jenkins to handle larger workloads efficiently. Hope you find this roadmap helpful, where you'll gain a comprehensive understanding of Jenkins and its capabilities. Each day is designed to build on the previous one, ensuring a smooth and effective learning curve. Good luck, and happy learning!